Now, the Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg, is defending the need for spending cuts to be made next month, saying the coalition is governing for the long term. A study a commission for the BBC across England suggests that in the three counties, Luton is likely to be the area least able to cope with St Albans, the most resilient. Now, earlier today, I spoke to the Deputy Leader of Hertfordshire, uh, David Lloyd, and he admitted there would be job losses. I'm afraid to say that there will be job losses. There are bound to be. I mean, £150 million out of a... 650, 700 million pound budget can't happen without there being some job losses. I don't think that's going to be talked about enough. Let's speak to Jonathan Davies uh, from Jonathan Davies Wealth Management. Jonathan, good morning to you. Hi, Ronnie. Um, I want to talk about jobs essentially, first of all. They're kind of brushing over this a wee bit, Jonathan. There are going to be a lot of job losses, aren't there, over the next five years? There are, according to the Department of Work and Pensions, 6.1 million people who work in the public sector. And if the coalition say they're going to cut the public sector budget by 25% over the next four years, then that would imply hundreds of thousands of job losses. And I have to say on top of that, of course, those 6.1, income, 6.1 million incomes clearly look after incomes in the private sector too. It's going to be grim. Uh, when you work in the financial uh, wealth management and, uh, and the financial world, uh, Jonathan, uh, is that world actually um, sort of uh, embracing the government, uh, the coalition government, making and insisting in these cuts? Um, I, it depends who you're talking to. Um, if you're talking to... Um, people in the city who are involved in the bond markets, in other words, who lend money to the government, then there's no doubt they're embracing it very well. That is the reason why um, the government guilt yield, or let me explain that, that's the rate of interest that the global lenders charge to the government when the government borrows money, is really low. The interest rate is really low. That's why the Bank of England rate has continued to stay down at the lowest level in history for nearly two years now. But then if you talk to others in the city, like, for instance, say, those who invest in companies, um, you'll, they'll, they'll be saying, no, no, the government needs to be borrowing more and spending more because companies are hurting, so profits are falling, and so on, so on. It depends who you're talking to.